Property Franchise Group is, as the name suggests, a franchise operation. Um, we work in the UK in the residential uh, uh, property space. Um, so we have estate agents and letting agents. And to give you some idea of scale, uh, we cover the whole of the UK with some 300 outlets and we manage 53,000 properties in the whole group. We operate a total of six brands. Five of them are traditional high street estate agency brands, as you might recognize. Um, but the other brand, the sixth brand, is an online challenger brand, so it operates without high street premises. Our business is geographically uh, dispersed right across the UK. We manage 53,000 properties and we are tilted towards lettings. Some 70% of our revenue is from lettings activities. We have an online agency, uh, which we invested in 2016, a business called UMove. It's still a full service estate agency offering, but it operates with technology and without the need for high street premises. The highlights for me are that we've increased our management services fees, what, what you might call royalties, um, by some 15% year on year. Um, and that's against quite a challenging market uh, backdrop where we had uh, flat uh, estate agency transaction volumes and a degree of negativity around the, uh, the buy to let sector. Uh, despite that, we grew our portfolio of tenanted managed properties organically during the, the, the six months and we added uh, properties through acquisitions. Um, by that I mean that we helped our local franchisees um, acquire the businesses of local competitors who are finding trading conditions more difficult. Uh, and we help them operationally, um, but we also help them with cash. We pay them cash back on every completed uh, business uh, acquisition, recognizing that they're um, creating extra revenue for ourselves. We also um, saw that our UMove uh, subsidiary, which is our, our online challenger brand, performed extremely well through the period. Uh, we grew the number of uh, trading outlets that we've got. We also increased uh, our revenues from uh, UMove and it was cash generative. Plus, very satisfyingly, um, we also increased our share of the online uh, market space as well. Over 365 days to the end of August, we increased our number of new listings by some 40% and we are now the fifth biggest online operator in the sector. So uh, an extremely pleasing set of results really. So despite what have been quite challenging market conditions, the fact that our group has performed so strongly has given the board confidence to stick with our progressive dividend policy. And we've announced an increase in our interim dividend up 14% to 2.4p. I think what uh, is very interesting uh, about the whole estate agency scene at the moment is that it's a very fragmented market. There's something like 23,000 estate agents and letting agents operating in the UK. Of the listed businesses, the ones that are making most progress are actually the franchise operators like ourselves. And I think there's huge advantages with, with franchise operations. If you look at us, we are a lean business. We only have 50 full-time employees at a head office level. We've got two modest headquarters, one in the north, one in the south. So unlike some of the corporate operators where they have these huge estates of uh, leased commercial premises and, and they've got all the liabilities that go with those, we are actually operating a much, much leaner operation. And the advantage of that is also that every single one of our outlets is cash generative as far as we are concerned. We have a stable group of franchisees. Uh, the average franchisee in the traditional brand business has been with us for 10 years or more. And that means that these are experienced business people and they have the capability of raising uh, bank debt if they want to make local acquisitions. So in that scenario, I think the combination of a central infrastructure, which uh, deals with compliance matters, deals with marketing, brings on uh, new initiatives, builds out new websites, and then local business owners who provide entrepreneurial drive and spot local market opportunities is a winning combination. One of the things that we are encouraging is that where we've got particularly strong franchisees, and it doesn't really matter which brand they're currently operating, if there are opportunities for them to buy out their neighbors who are perhaps less successful, then we will encourage that. One of the uh, things that's true about property management businesses is they get bigger as they scale up, they become more profitable. And therefore, what we're seeking to do is help our strongest franchisees manage more and more properties over time. That's a bulwark, if you like, against um, changing market conditions. 
The other thing, of course, is that if we've got competitors who are finding trading conditions difficult now and they're likely to get more challenging in the future, then again, there's an opportunity for a group like us that's both technically well resourced. Um, so, for example, we have a retained broker who looks for um, businesses for sale and helps us with negotiations and, and due diligence and, and bringing those businesses into the fold. But also we can get bank funding for our franchisees because of their track record. And frankly, because of course, we've also got a very strong balance sheet. Uh, we're net cash positive by 0.5 million pounds at the end of the reporting period. Um, we've got bank facility, which we could extend, and we are cash generative over the next couple of years. So we are extremely well positioned at a group level to assist financially with acquisitions as we see opportunities arise. One of the really interesting things when we bought UMove is that we realised that there were some secrets, some know-how as to how they can uh, attract customers without high street shops and that we could import that know-how and expertise into our high street business. So in other industries, pay-per-click advertising on Google is, is just been there for ages and uh, everyone knows how it works. But in our industry, that's actually quite novel, quite innovative. And what we did is we built optimized websites for our traditional brands at the back of last year. And this year we've been encouraging them to spend money on pay-per-click campaigns. And if I look right across the whole group, we've generated over 26,000 new business leads as a result of that activity. And our franchisees are spending at an annualized rate towards one million pounds per year on what we are finding is extremely good value advertising, which our competitors have not yet been able to access. Yuma's performed very strongly. I mean, we always saw it had potential, but it was still a small business, a relatively young business. We've appointed uh, a professional managing director who uh, took up post in the summer of last year and the business has been generating cash. So the good thing is that we've got an online agency which is growing its market share but is not cash consumptive, it's actually spilling cash out. So in fact, we have confidence perhaps to make further investments in UMove because we think it's a very scalable proposition. What we've really got to do is persuade the traditional high street agents who are going to find life more difficult over the next few years that their future is to move online because UMove is, unlike many of the other online operators, not a listings model. It's traditional, full-service estate agency, but it's delivered using technology and does not need high street premises. That's the real difference between it. Um, it's got a tremendous reputation for customer service. It's UK number one on Trustpilot, and therefore the proposition is very different. It's about great customer service. It's about ease of access. It's a genuinely 24-7 business. And it's also about getting sales through because we are only going to get paid if we can get your property sold. The outlook for the group is very positive, but you've got to bear in mind it's going to be a tough market for the next couple of years. You've got Brexit uncertainty, and that always impacts on housing by people postponing the decision to move, and therefore you have flat transaction volumes. There's been negativity around buy to let, both in terms of rising interest rates, there's been extra stamp duty already applied to buy-to-let purchases, and there is a reduction in taper relief on interest on buy-to-let loans, which is um, coming, uh, well, has already taken effect and, and, and is, is, is having an impact. So despite all of that negativity though, we are supremely confident. And the reason for that is that we think that we have a strong model in a franchise model. We've got a very strong balance sheet. We're making the, what we think are the right investments in tech, either by either owning an online agency, if that's the way the market moves, or by using some of the online tech in our traditional brand business to help them. And we simply believe that we are going to outperform the competition. The group is in a good place. Every single uh, set of six monthly results that we've delivered since we IPO'd have been a better set of results than the previous ones. And we think that the competitive pressure that the industry faces over the next sort of year to two years um, will eat more deeply into our competitors and we will uh, be a net gainer uh, in terms of market share and the number of properties that we are managing.